Uh, see, in this video, we are going to discuss the definition of similar points and delta method, very important delta method. If there are some similar point definition, just go through this concept dx2 by dx1. That is, uh, uh, is equal to, if you put x1 and x2 is equal to 0, that is uh, indeterminate uh, equations, the, uh, denominator equations to 0 and numerator equations is 0. That is, solution of the equations, the function f is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0 gives the location of the singular points along with its number. Okay. So, this definition, if you, they ask you go through this concept and we will see the next important topic, delta method. See, uh, the iso isoclean method uh, is uh, one of the uh, first method uh, in the phase plane. Okay, second method is delta method. Okay, in the phase plane analysis, isoclean method and delta method are there. Isoclean and delta method are uh, very important uh, methods are there. So, in isoclean method, we are going to find, we are going to uh, draw the all uh, entire uh, graphs, possible slopes. Okay, different, different possible slopes. So just to have to fill with the line segments of a different possible slopes but a single solution curve is needed so because it takes time also so many lines you have to draw in isoclean so to overcome that drawback only a few of these lines are put to use uh, so wasting a lot of effort a technique of construction no, one more method that is known as delta method okay so, it is uh, more directly to the solution. This method applies the solution of equation of this type of uh, equation. They have taken one example here. Like this type of equation, we have to use the delta method. x dot plus f of x dot comma x comma t is equal to 0. Means it is the function of first order x with respect to time t. Okay, nonlinear and time dependent equation. Second order x double dot. Okay. See here, uh, the equation, uh, this equation we can write like this. Uh, we have to add here omega naught square x minus omega naught square x. Add and subtract, there is no difference in the first equation and second equation. This time adding and subtracting this term. Here, omega naught square may be uh, determined by using the first equation. Okay. So, to use the remaining information, we can solve this. Uh, we can again we have to convenient solution we have to use that uh, instead of t we have to use here 2 2 is equal to omega naught t ok instead of t we have to use 2 and uh, whatever x dot is there x dot is nothing but dx by dt we have to put it as a v term ok you know that if displacement is x dx by dt means the rate of change of displacement is velocity therefore displacement is x differentiation of that is velocity Again, differentiation of velocity is what? Acceleration, right? right? So, uh, dx by dt I am taking as a v. v is equal to dx by dt. t means 2 here. So, substitute in this equation, what happened? Uh, x double dot, okay? Omega naught square v, v means x dot into du by dx. du by dx means what? Just now I said, right? Uh, uh, differentiation of x is v differentiation of v is acceleration so here 2 times differentiation of x 2 times differentiation of x means what v dot right d by dx plus uh, as usual this term plus f of x dot means v comma x t instead of t tau and this term is omega naught square x okay is equal to 0 so this uh, third equation we can write like this also here uh, D, write the equation in the form of du by dx is equal to so whatever delta whatever this equation we will get here that substitute in terms of delta of v comma x comma 2 ok ok see this uh, equation number 4 uh, is similar to the uh, one used for the case of isoclean method similar to the whatever equation used in the isoclean method also so uh, the it is not uh, immediately, uh, most immediately applicable to the equations uh, with the oscillator solutions and also not limited to this class of equations. Okay. The function delta of equation 5, the delta of equation 5th depends upon the what v, x and tau. But it is assumed that a constant, tau is a constant for all uh, small changes in these variables. Okay. Under this assumption, the variable equation number 4 
can be separated and integrated. Equation 4 can be separated and can be integrated. We can use direct equation here, B is equal to. And it can be integrated and separated. We will get this equation B square plus X plus delta square is equal to constant that we can take as a R square. This is the equation of the circle. Okay. The curve, uh, the solution curve is the arc of the circle. This is the arc of the circle having these properties. Okay. The construction is shown in this figure here. Just you have to draw this figure and write in uh, some words about this. Where x of 0 and v of 0 represents a point on the solution curve at the time to of 0. To of means time is equal to 0. Here, here. To of 0. x of 0 and v of 0 on the curve. These, val uh, these values used in the equation number 5 allow the calculation for the delta. Okay, these values of delta determines the center of the circle. Circle, circular R located on the x axis. The radius R is automatically fixed here. A short circular arc represents a portion of solution curve. Actually, it is more accurate to use average values of V, X and Tau for that increment. Again, the allowable length of the arc is compromising here. This is your delta method. The part important they may ask 5 to 6 months. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes they may ask with uh, this graph and all uh, 8, eight months. Right. 